before we begin, we need to go ahead and install the updated drivers and firmware, so that way we can have the mods that we did work with the printer, such as the automatic bed leveler, and in this case, also the direct drive. So go ahead, download the files. The first one's the CH340 drivers. This file type might be dangerous, we want to download anyway. See it downloading? And while that's going on, go back to driver slash flashing tool and download Xloader. So there's a few files in here. We want to download the whole folder. So go back, right click on Xloader, and then click on download. So that one will zip itself and then download. So let's go ahead and run ch341ser.exe. This is actually the drivers for the cable that we plug into the printer. Okay, so this is going to ask what type of device. That is correct. We click install. And it failed. Let me plug in the printer one second. Alright, then we click install. and the driver successfully installed. So we can go ahead and close that. And now we want to open our Xloader folder. So since it downloaded as, an, as a zip file, we need to right click on it and then click extract all. And we can just extract it to the same folder it's in. And then when we open that folder, which has a weird name. It should have Xloader inside of it. And then we want to click on Xloader again. All right, so now we have Xloader open and installed. So now we need to go back to the folder here. All right, and then we need to go to the firmware folder and we will take version 12, the newest version, which by the time you see this, it may be a new version. So just follow the version number that you have. And I never changed my board. So it's the OEM 18 Mega 2560 motherboard. We'll double click on that. And then we click on stock board with King mods. And we want the 3D slash DL touch King direct drive folder. Inside of here is one file, firmware.hex. So let's go ahead and click on that, right click on it and click download. Now we can come back to Xloader, click on the three dots, and then we need to grab firmware.hex. Device, we wanna make sure it's a mega 2560 and then COM port should be the only one, COM3 in this case, it may be different for yours. And the baud rate, 115,200, 115200. And then when we click upload, this should cause the, the printer to actually reset a few times as it updates. So, we're going to click on upload. Well, okay, I just tapped on my accident. And this usually takes a few moments. There it goes, so now we can see that it's resetting, it shows the proper firmware, and now it's ready. Now one thing that you will have to do after you have everything uploaded is to rehome your bed and make sure that all of your adjustments are correct. I'm not going to go through that on here, but the main thing is once you do have your bed leveled, you want to come over to configuration. Personally, I disabled the runout sensor since I did not relocate it. And then we need to go to the Probe Z offset 
to make sure it sets it set to what we need. In my case, it's 3.1. And if you move this left or right, the nozzle will actually move by that tiny amount so that way you can get it perfect. But once that's done, go ahead and slice the file and start your printing. All right, so the last thing that we have to do before we can actually start to print is to modify the starting and ending G code. So what we do is we go to our printer here and then click on manage printers. And then make sure you have the proper one selected and click on machine settings. Now in here you'll have a bit of G code for what you have to have done. And we've got the information right here, which I will post in the description of the video. So you'll put the starting G code here in start G code and the ending G code here and in G code. Now, if you end up having an issue where your nozzle does not home after you tell it to auto home, like it's off center, you will adjust that here in the X and Y offset, but that's not something that's guaranteed that you'll have to do. And that's all that we have for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.